so these are the pets and the skills to use against Blinktron. I'll run through the skill order during the video. If you don't have any of these pets, then there are some alternatives coming up on the screen. Uh, the skills that you need to use on them and the order that you need to use the skills are also there. If you don't have any of these pets, then check the description below and I will leave information on how to obtain them. If you're going to be using the Water Waveland as your third pet, uh, see the description because you will do the tactics a little bit differently with the Water Waveland. So to begin the battle, your first pet up is going to be Sid the Squid against Blintron's uh, Elemental, which is called Ow, I think. Your first skill you use is going to be Whirlpool, followed by Bubble. Bubble will block the next two attacks that you receive. And then on the third round, you will cast Water Jet, and you will continue using Water Jet until Ow has been defeated. Once you do defeat Ow, then Bling will call out Banks and Banks always goes before Sid the Squid because he's got higher speed and he will usually kill him so I always swap out air to the Razor Tooth. However if you would like you can try and throw a Whirlpool down onto Banks and then swap to the Razor Tooth. Once your Razor Tooth is out and you get a chance to attack your first skill is going to be Rip. Uh, Rip will put 5 stacks of bleeding down onto Banks. This will damage him at the end of every round. On your next turn, you will use Blood in the Water. Uh, Blood in the Water does increase damage to any targets that have bleeding on them. In your third turn, you will cast Devour. Now, Devour is a two round ability, so it's going to run for the next two rounds. Just wait until your Devour ends. When it's ended, if you've had critical hits in there, then Banks will be dead at this point. If he's still alive, just go back to the start of the combo and start again with Rip and continue until Banks is dead. Once Banks dies, he'll send out little bling. Now use your Razor Tooth and use Rip in the first round. This will put a stack of bleeding onto Banks, damaging him at the end of every round. Swap out to your core hound pup and then once he comes out you will want to howl, followed by burn. Now you will just continue to burn every round until Little Blink is defeated. Um, burn hurts him pretty hard because it's strong against mechanical pets and Little Blink is obviously a mechanical pet. And also because of the bleed you put on with your Razor Tooth he will be taking damage at the end of every round. Once Blink goes down his mechanical passive will revive him but in combination with your uh, bleeds that you applied and the burn skill he should instantly go down once he revives. Uh, when Blink is completed, go heal up any pets that you need and then move on to the next trainer. So now in the first battle, you're going to start with your tiny spore bat. You will be casting creeping fungus. This will infect the target and make them take undead damage at the end of each round. In your next turn, you will use shadow slash and you will continue to use shadow slash until you win the battle. Once you win this battle, he will bring out a mechanical pet next. You will be quicker, so you can go ahead and cast Spore Shrooms. After two rounds, your Spore Shrooms will explode and start to deal elemental damage at the end of every round. Uh, that is real strong against the mechanical pet. If you manage to live for a second turn with your Spore Bat, go ahead and cast Creeping Fungus and then you'll die on the second turn. Uh, once your next pet is out, the first thing you have to do, and it's important, is you cast Stone Skin. This will block all the damage from the lightning as well as the turrets and it will reduce any other damage you take from his uh, batter ability. 
In your second turn you want to cast Flamethrower. This will put a burn effect on the pep and it will take damage at the end of every round. Um, that stacks up quite a bit with your spore shrooms and if you've got creeping fungus down this pet this round will go very fast. In your third attack you'll be using the Sulfurus smash. This does high amounts of damage to um, the enemy so this won't last long at all it's quite an easy fight. He is a mechanical pet so the first time he goes down his passive will revive him but with all the uh, damage over time effects you've got on him at the end of each round, your shrooms, your burn and your um, creeping fungus, he will die as soon as he gets up. The third and final pet he brings out is a beast pet, um, Summer. He will always start with dodge first, so refresh your stone skin and tank up them turrets. You don't want the turrets up when you bring your um, mechanical boar out because it will ruin his decoy. Um, on your first attack after stone skin, use your sulfurous mass or your flamethrower. It won't really matter which one you use because some of us will have dodge up so you'll miss. But on your third and final attack before you die, make sure you try and get at least flamethrower down. That will add the burn effect onto summer and it will continue to damage him uh, throughout the next battle. Once you're defeated um, and your boar comes out, keep an eye on summer's skills. If his dodge ability is available then he will use it straight away. So you'll want to rebuild first, since you're not going to be able to attack him you'll just miss. And then on your second turn you're going to put decoy down. And from here on out just keep using missiles until you win. You won't need any of these pets for the next battle so just head on over to the next trainer. Now this team is perfect for this pet battle, um, it goes very easily. You can even do it with just the first two pets. Um, there isn't really a pet to replace the Dragonlin, so I advise you buy that pet. But the other two pets can be replaced with the ones coming on screen now. Now begin this fight using Peck and wait for Cleansing Rain to get cast. Once Cleansing Rain has been used you need to get rid of this straight away so use Call of Darkness to remove it. In your next turn use Nocturnal Strike and if the enemy pet is still alive continue using Peck until you have defeated him. Now once he brings out his second pet you can just continue using Peck until your Dread Hatchling has been defeated. With your Dread Hatchling now dead, bring out your Mechanical Dragonlin and start off with Breath. Keep an eye on the enemy skills, he has a skill called Soul Ward. Once it becomes available, you'll want to use Thunderbolt before he casts it. After he casts Soul Ward, just continue with Breath until the pet has been defeated. Do not use Decoy against this pet because you'll need it in the next battle. Now when the third pet comes out, he will always start off by using Whirlpool followed by Dive. Wait for him to do Whirlpool and then do your breath attack. After your breath attack he will dive and then you put your decoy down. After decoy is down swap out to your third pet and let your decoy absorb the damage from dive on Whirlpool. So you take no damage in that round. Next you want to use creeping ooze followed by acid touch. Both of these skills will make the enemy pet take damage at the end of each round. If he's still alive after you've cast them two skills, then you can go ahead and use Weakness or Acid Touch to finish off the fight. 